The figure of St. Lucy. Life. One of the most beloved saints for Christians, Lucy was born in Syracuse to a wealthy aristocratic family, probably around 283. Her father, who was perhaps called Lucio, died when Lucy was very young. Promised as a wife to a pagan, the young girl consecrated herself to Christ with a vow of virginity. Eutychia, who had suffered from hemorrhage for many years, took her daughter to Catania in pilgrimage to the tomb of St. Agatha. It was the 5th of February, 301. While praying, Lucy fell asleep and dreamed of the saint who told her, Lucy, why are you asking me for what you can obtain for your mother? Foretelling the miracle for Eutychia and her martyrdom. After returning to Syracuse, the girl told her mother about her firm determination to give herself to Christ and donate her possessions to the poor. The young man who wanted to marry her, upon seeing her give her belongings to the less privileged and having been turned down as a potential husband, reported her to the prefect Pascasio as a Christian. He ordered her to make a sacrifice to the gods but Lucy was steadfast and determined not to obey. The acts of her martyrdom narrate the cruel torture she was subject to by the magistrate. Threatened to be grouped among the prostitutes, she became so heavy that neither oxen nor dozens of soldiers could pick her up. This was considered an act of witchcraft, and Lucy was tied to the stake, but nothing could burn her flesh. She was finally beheaded or, according to Latin sources, she was stabbed in the throat with a dagger. She died after receiving communion and having foretold the fall of Diocletian and peace for the Church. According to tradition, her death took place on December 13, 304. The iconography of her eyes on a plate or in a cup is perhaps related to popular devotion that always invoked the saint as the protector of eyes and sight, thanks to her name, from looks, light. Absent in many traditions and narrations, at least until the 1400s, is the episode when the Marty's eyes are removed, or when she herself removed her beautiful eyes. Saint Lucy is the patron saint of Syracuse. She protects the blind, eye doctors and electricians, and against illnesses of the eyes. Locations and stages after the martyrdom. The body of St. Lucy remained for many centuries in Syracuse. From the catacomb where she was buried, her body was brought to the basilica built for her. A nearby monastery was erected in the early 6th century. After the Islamic invasion of Sicily, her relics were hidden in a secret place. When in 1039 Maniace General of Byzantium reconquered the city, he was ordered by Empress Basilius and Constantine to bring the body to Constantinople, perhaps as booty. From here, her relics were seized in 1204 by Doge Enrico Dandolo during the Fourth Crusade and brought to Venice. Since 1860, they have been found in this church. History of Devotion After burying Lucy's body in the catacombs of Syracuse, her tomb quickly attracted the faithful who received many blessings. Her cult soon spread outside Sicily and in the 16th century to Latin America, to some places of North America and even to Africa. In popular devotion, legendary details enrich her biography. The most famous is the one where Lucy gouged her own eyes, immediately and miraculously restored by Raphael, sending them in a silver container to Pascasio, or her young suitor. Relics of Lucy and works inspired by her can be found throughout the world. Place of Celebration In Syracuse, the celebration in honor of their patron on December the 13th is naturally very popular, and festivities begin as early as late November. St. Lucy is honored in many countries across Europe. In some places in northern Italy, the evening of St. Lucy is magical, to the great excitement of children. According to tradition, the saint, followed by the Cocchiere Castaldo on his donkey, brings gifts and sweets to kids who behaved well during the year, and in exchange, 
they prepare for her a cup of coffee with milk and some cookies. Her feast day coincides with the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, before the reforms of the Gregorian calendar. And, since it is held during Advent, it announces the arrival of Christmas. In Scandinavia, too, it's an important day, where Lucy, a symbol of light, marks the arrival of the new season. Lucy is portrayed by young girls dressed in white, symbol of purity, with a red sash for the martyr's blood, and a crown of candles worn on the head while they carry cookies and bread made with saffron. Both Catholics and Protestants take part in the procession. <laughs>